So over here on uh, these data right here, uh, like on this table, you can see a filter is applied right here, which is specific uh, to this particular unit right here. If I were to go around right here, then I will have to go around and remove the filter out right here. And I'm going to go around over here and remove out the filter from over here as well. So let me just go around, remove out the filter. What you can also do is add in a piece right here. So there's two pieces as you can see. So there's one piece on the top, there's another piece right here. So what you can do is you can add in a chart over here as well. So let me just go around and add in, uh, let's say for example, uh, something else. So let me just go around, add in um, this chart right here, another chart as you can see right here, which has all of these things as well. So instead of record count, I'm going to let's say, for example, get these sales right here. So um, uh, there you go. So this is not what I want. So let me just go around, delete this. And I'm going to go around, add a chart. Let's say I want a bar chart itself. So this is what you want. So I'm not going to go around onto the record count, but I'm just going to go around and then select out the sales right here, which is going to be the metric and the record count. I'm just going to delete this out. You can see that this is what you have now on the sales and this is what you have right here. So what if you want to filter out um, the data in one particular page then? So what you can do is uh, you can use the current page settings and uh, filter the data for that current page. So all of the contents on that page gets a filtered data. So to do that, what you need to do is you need to go around over here uh, uh, and then access the current page option. So let me just go around on to, uh, let's say, uh, page right here. And he here you can see current page settings is an option. And if you were to click on it over here on the right side, you get an option to add in a filter to this particular page data. So here you can see that you can add in dimension, you can add in a filter right here. So let me just go around and add in a dimension right here. So I'm going to create a filter now. So let's say what I want is I want to, uh, let's say, include, I'm, I want to include uh, the total price range right here, uh, which is uh, greater than, so it is going to be greater than, let's say, for example, 1000. So once I do that and hit save right here, what happens is that it filters out the data for all of the things right here. So on the total sales, on um, the uh, total sale console right here, on game console list right here, on this everything you can see that for the charts and data in this entire piece, uh, the filter is applied. So that is what you can do as you can see right here. But for page two, you can see that the data stays as it is because uh, we actually apply the filter to the page. And so it only affects that particular page data. So if I were to go around right here and add in data right here, not from this, but let me just go around, add in a chart right here. So let me add in another table on this particular page itself. You can see that it is already filtered out over here. So you, you can see that there's three uh, details right here. So there's no data. Um, um, that, um, that is out of the filter and if I were to go around right here and then use the same chart then you will get the unfiltered data because the filter is not applied to this particular page as you can see. So that is how you can filter out data in current page settings inside of uh, Google Data Studio. So I hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like, comment, share and subscribe.